What's going on YouTube? Leo Pazzo TV. Thanks very much for tuning in. This video, I plan to be an actual very informative video to give you guys an update and some knowledge of actually what's going on. This is a very cool process. I'm doing it much more thoroughly than what I have done in the past and I'm learning a lot new stuff. So I love to share it with you guys. This is a 10 gallon tank. I newly just set this up and it is actually going to be my quarantine tank, which I'm using right now to quarantine these new cleanup crews such as snails, some starfish, and some Mexican turbo snails, and some crabs as well. Filtering right now with a media reactor that I have here on the back. I kind of MacGyvered this little LED light, a PAR38 bulb, which I had from a previous build. It's a, a full spectrum. I definitely don't need full spectrum on this quarantine tank for this cleanup crew, but it's just a bulb that I had kicking around. I do plan to use this tank eventually once I'm done with my quarantining my cleanup crew and they're ready to go inside my display tank um, I'm going to be using the same quarantine tank for my fish and for my corals eventually so stay tuned if you guys are interested to learn about quarantining I plan to do some very thorough uh, process and procedures here to kind of make things go as smooth and safe as possible and also for your own education uh, learning purposes if you guys are interested to learn something like that so that is all about the quarantine tank. That is probably just one thing that I'm going to probably be covering in this video. I also would like to at least talk to you about or mention to you guys about the process that I'm taking right now to cycle my 125 gallon reef tank. It's been at least a good month and two weeks. So now we're almost on Valentine's Day. We're February 13, 2020. The tank has now been running with water since call it beginning of January. Let's just call it January 1st, 2020. So it's been about six weeks now and we've been cycling the tank. And you know what? I came across a very knowledgeable reefer in my local area here. There's two groups on Facebook that I'm currently the admit on. The first group that I started a few years ago is Saltwater Fish Tanks Made Easy. So definitely check out that group. I've noticed a lot of people are joining the group and posting some of their used fish tank stuff kind of uh, you know for sale they might be across the world they might be in your area but there's also another local group which is called GTA Greater Toronto Area so GTA Saltwater and Fish Coral Connection so I can leave the link down in the description down below I've noticed that all the members are from Toronto GTA at least from Canada so I'm not sure if there's any United States members or if there's any other members from across the world the name of the group are kind of focused uh, in regards to Toronto and Canada GTA the greater Toronto area so you know what you guys are definitely interested to at least check out the group you guys feel free to join the reason why why I'm bringing this up is because this is where I met this gentleman by the name of Tison. Tison has actually helped me learn a few things along the way and I'm actually I have his trust I'm actually trusting him and the reason why I'm saying that is because I've been adding some glass cleaner you've been hearing it right guys I just added a few milliliters of glass cleaner um, last week just to give you an example the reason why I'm adding glass cleaners because it has ammonia in it okay so I'm actually adding ammonia in my tank and I'm testing my tank with the test kit here along with my Senai reef monitor that's mounted here in my sump filtration system so I'm monitoring the levels in my tank if you want to just make a long story short and why I'm monitoring them is because I'm actually dosing some ammonia and you say well why would I be doing that well I'm dosing ammonia for a few reasons and one of the reasons is for an example by adding fish to the tank we are basically creating like an ammonia spike so if you ever heard oh when you add fish you might have an ammonia spike and whatnot okay so instead of adding fish and creating that spike which is going to create the ammonia to spike which is also going to create the nitrites to spike and then you'll also probably have some nitrates as well so why would you kind of put the fish through that process right so maybe your tank might be cycled so you might test your tank and you'd be like yeah my tank is cycled my tank is uh, at ammonia is zero my nitrites are at zero and my nitrates are kind of low or at zero so you're like yep my tank is cycled well, is cycled well guess what your tank probably is cycled but you know what it's not really cycled to how much uh, bio load how much fish are in that tank at that point well there are no fish in that tank right so how much ammonia do you actually have in that tank 
Well, probably not too much ammonia because you didn't really do much. You just put in maybe some live rock or some dry rock, maybe some sand, maybe some, I don't know, maybe you started a refugium. So there's not really much ammonia. There's nothing in the tank causing ammonia or kind of having a nice steady ammonia uh, levels, right? Like, so basically when there's ammonia, the nitrites eat that ammonia okay and once that ammonia goes down because it got eaten by the nitrites then the nitrates eat the nitrites so it's just like a process basically first comes the ammonia then it comes the nitrites and then it comes the nitrates which is at the end so what I'm going at is that if you can dose your tank ammonia well let's call fish or let's call ammonia fish right now so if you can dose fish or ammonia in your tank and if you start off on a low level, for an example, the first dosing that I did was 10 milliliters, which is approximately two capfuls, okay? So I actually added, like a crazy person, like that's what I was actually thinking, and like probably while you're watching this video, are you like, for real, this guy's actually adding this to my tank? Because that's actually what my wife said. And I started explaining to her what I'm basically trying to explain to you guys, and she's not really like a fish tank person, but it seems like she was kind of interested and like was wondering why, like, why would I be doing this? Like, what's the whole point of this? And that's probably what you're asking, and I might as well just kind of get to. Why would I want to be dosing this ammonia? Okay, well, like I said, let's continue where I left off. My first dose that I did, I added 10 milliliters, two capsules. What happened is, my ammonia spiked, my nitrite spiked, and then my nitrate spiked. Well, I had a decent spike. I always kind of had a little bit of nitrates, um, but you know what, the uh, Chato and the Refugium has been helping with that, so there was very little bit of uh, nitrates, but in the end, all three of them, they all kind of spiked up. Well, guess what? As I continued to monitor these levels, I noticed that they slowly came down. And approximately about 24 hours later, after the 10 milliliters of ammonia that I added, all of those levels came back down. So it shot up, showing me that it was there, and it recognized it, and then they all kind of went away within 24 hours. So there we go. I saw that and I jotted that all down. 10 milliliters of ammonia to my system. It brought down those levels within 24 hours. Great, next dosing. We're adding 40 milliliters, okay? So I added 40 milliliters, which one of these caps is call it about five milliliters. So I added eight caps. That's the math that I did. So I added eight caps of this ammonia glass cleaner like am I really doing this I asked myself again I'm like okay maybe two caps with all this water it's not gonna really affect it but no it did it affected it I saw the spikes and it went down 24 hours later now again um, after I saw it go back down to uh, zero all of my uh, parameters the ammonia the nitrite and the nitrates once of those gone all back down to zero then I went ahead and I dosed a uh, another uh, 40 milliliters as I just mentioned and I just observed that and I just hit the the timing of three days later since I dosed the 40 milliliters and now those levels have spiked they went up when I dosed it like within 24 hours they spiked and guess what three days later after I dosed the 40 milliliters it went back down to zero. So what that's telling me, my tank is taking approximately three days to take away, to absorb, to basically fight off with the bacteria bio load that are, not bio load, with the bacteria that I have in my tank, it's taking three days to approximately eat up that 40 milliliters of ammonia. So from my understanding, 80 milliliters of ammonia is equivalent to approximately 10 fish in your tank. So if my tank can basically take 80 milliliters of ammonia and yes I might see it's going to spike up and it's going to eat it and take it away right that's fine I'm gonna monitor that and see how long it takes okay and it's probably going to take maybe two days or three days well guess what the next time when I go and dose that 80 milliliters right once those levels have come back down I'll dose it again and um, what's going to happen now is I'm going to observe and see that the ammonia levels, the nitrite and the nitrate levels have all lowered back to zero in approximately 24 hours. So now the time is even coming less. Well, guess what? We might do one more dose of another 80 milliliters once those levels have all come back down. And we're going to observe what happened uh, to the levels. And you were probably going to observe our probably our goal is to observe that we can add 80 milliliters of ammonia to the tank and the tank won't even really have an ammonia spike. What does that mean? That the tank is not going to have an ammonia spike even after adding 80 milliliters to the tank. And if you think about that, 
adding 80 milliliters, which is, I'm not gonna say it's a lot, but to me, this thing, like you open it, it smells like ammonia. This is ammonia glass cleaner, okay? Um, home ammonia all-purpose glass cleaner, like 80 milliliters. If you can add that to your tank, that's definitely going to be a very well cycled tank, okay? So for your tank to be able to do that, to get rid of that ammonia in a very short amount of time or very minimal spike at all, that's going to tell you that your tank is actually super cycled and it can actually take approximately 10 fish being added. I don't suggest adding 10 fish to the tank, but just to let you know that your tank is now capable of taking a bio load of approximately 10 fish and not even have an ammonia spike. So you know what? It's actually so crazy to understand this and it's so crazy to actually be doing this and it's so crazy to be like actually quarantining a cleanup crew. Who cleaned, who had to, I, I never did a quarantine for a cleanup crew. Did you guys have a cleanup crew uh, quarantine tank? Did you guys have a fish quarantine tank? Did you guys have a coral quarantine tank? I'm interested to know, but it looks like this time around, I'm probably going to be going through that process of having these quarantine tanks for these fish and inverts and corals. So if you guys are interested to stay tuned, definitely go ahead and subscribe right now. I've been blabbing along for this whole video. I didn't even really get to show you much, but you know what? If you did make it this far, I'm going to at least show you the cleanup crew tank and we'll get some shots of the cleanup crew tank. The 125 gallon tank, nothing's really changed about that. We just have it cycling with the uh, with the sump filtration here that we have going. The refugium is actually working well, or should I say the light on the refugium is actually working quite well. with me.